In this episode, we will complete the terms and policies screen, as we learned in the previous episode. Today we will fetch data from the server. Remember that this game is a multiplayer game, so everything will be from the server. You will be amazed and surprised by the character creation screen that will be in the upcoming episodes. Then you will check the checkbox whether it is checked or not inside and outside the screen. If the game is not accepted, the game will not work and the user will not be able to skip the screen. Terms and policies are very important within any product you create. I won't talk much, don't forget to subscribe and like, let's get to work. I will create some animations. Then from the graph screen I will activate the animation using custom event. Here you see me arranging the way menus appear and disappear. Now, from the instant game, I will contact function to obtain the terms and policies. If one of them is empty, we must call the function to fetch the data from the server that we created at the beginning of the series. I will add a condition to know the start and end of the connection.
In interface, create a new function to know the connection status, then define it in the instant game so that we can bring it to other screens. Here, create a condition to check the connection status and bring the function you created in the interface to link with the condition. If the communication procedures are not completed and a successful connection is achieved, we will repeat the attempt again to verify this. If successful connection is achieved and data is available, Create a custom event so that we can use it in the above to complete the chain. In the instant game, I will define the codes to fetch data from the server. Follow that with me via my SQLI. Add a new table, then fill in the blanks as shown in the image, then click save. Then manually add the information to the table. 